everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Unfortunately for Danoth, as I have mentioned in other videos, they do not get any support. They do not get any kind of either fan support or Nidhi Sandhi support or any kind of, you know, things like that being pushed for any benefits here. Uh, unfortunately, this is the the numbers of Twisty Manazako 151, which is still respectable, but not when you are a part of Nidhi Sanji EN. You expect it, especially since Hollow Live EN is having much better numbers. Uh, you expect them to have higher numbers, of course, not 20, 30K, because versus uh, the EN side, the JP side is going to be a little bit different. JP is always going to have high. Subaru has been there for years. It's a difference that, you know, it's not really super fair, but just looking at EN numbers, of Danoth versus, versus, let's say, Advent, their numbers, even when they started, were not this low. And it's not for lack of trying. Uh, Twisty Amanozako is very good. Twisty Amanozako is entertaining. She's a bit of a gremlin herself. She's a bit of a meme queen. She's very entertaining in and of herself. I've watched tw clips and I've watched streams because I want to be objective. I want to see if they're any good. They are good. The issue is, of course, Nidhi Sanji does no support. Nidhi Sanji is the black company that makes them feel like they are worthless without them, that it treats it kind of in a cultish mentality of the way that they treat their, their talents. It's not fair. It's I'm just thinking in a humanistic point of view. Yes, I have a lot of problems with Nidhi Sanji itself. I think that, that it is deserved that they don't get uh, high numbers. Nidhi Sanji itself doesn't get high numbers. That means it doesn't get high, high you know, uh, money but the talents themselves don't deserve it because the talents themselves are trying their hardest. They're not the ones who bully in, in the case of, of Twisty and Danath. They're not the ones who are bullying people. They're not the ones who are doing all these horrible things. They're not the ones who are mismanaging things. They're just there trying to do their job. I'm starting to feel like these posts are more about bullying Twisty than analyzing EGM performance. And that's why I say what I said, because she doesn't deserve any bullying. She doesn't deserve anything nasty because she is trying her hardest. As much as I dislike Niji Sanji, and boy, do I dislike Niji Sanji for what they do. I, it's just unfair. I don't like that they do this to their talents. They should do. They should have done what Hololive does, but they're a-holes and they don't do it properly. And that really ticks me off because these people are innocent in everything, especially Danoth, because they came in after the whole situation happened. They're innocent in everything. They're just trying their hardest. I would probably cry if it were me and I worked my ass off to be part of an organization like this, and I see my numbers like this, I would probably feel really bad because I would feel like my efforts are not being paid off. That is just me being a little bit real with you guys and me, um, I hope that you don't take it too badly or too negatively, but this is how I feel just from a humanist point of view, just from being objective. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? You know, I like the numbers, you know, I like debut numbers, you know, I like looking at everything, the debut stream CCV results, and we are comparing English to JP. So this is pretty fair in and of itself because JP tends to have way higher CCV for things. So it is a fair comparison to have this happening. And since they're both in the same day and they're both from large companies, I believe this is actually a fair comparison. You have the two debuts that popped out for uh, Hollow Justice had 122 CCV and 120 20 CCV. And uh, you had the GTA stuck in here, of course, which had 78K. But of the CCVs, for Niji Sanji, the uh, the one that is pretty much their mascot down here is 21K. Uh, you have 36, 41, 42, and 44K respectively. That's still very, very respectable numbers. But in comparison to EN, which is supposed to be supposedly a lot lower because JP is pretty much where VTubing started. V JP is where the biggest market is so far. It all depends on how you support your talents. It all depends on how you end up uh, announcing your talents, advertising your talents, whatever you want to call it. If you do it right, then it works well for you. If you do it wrong, then you're screwed right here. They're kind of in the middle ground. They didn't get like 10 K CCV or anything like that, but they didn't get, they should have been getting closer numbers to hundred K because they are Japanese VTubers. They sh and they're from a large company. I can guarantee you if it was hollow JP, then they would also get close to the hollow justice numbers because hollow live English and JP people are supporting Hollow EN uh, debuts. And you would expect the Nidhi Sandy defenders, the Nidhi Sandy fans to go both EN and JP to go here, but it looks like it wasn't enough. 
Hana and Hoshikawa organize a GTA event. Of course, it's a, it's in uh, Japanese eat GTA event. Let's see what these this needy sister needy defender saying. It says Kana has said organizers like Hoshikawa and I are honestly easy targets for trolling in the comments and on X, which is expected, of course. We are prepared for that, but if things get too out of hand, we won't hold this event again. We decided that a long time ago. If the sadness outweighs the fun of the participants, we won't do it again. Isn't that obvious? The event isn't about making a profit. To be honest, Hoshikawa and I are covering the cost ourselves. Since it's a live or led event, that's expected. The two of us are funding it. Yeah, because of course, I mean, it's the same thing, honestly with Hololive, so it's not any kind of negative anything on Nitisanji, the big companies, they all seem to do this. What I mean by that is, if you remember, Hololive had the uh, the sports festival uh, every year for uh, Minecraft. That is created by Miko and them, uh, funded by Miko and them, and organized fully by Miko and them. So it is, it is something when you have those type of projects that aren't fully Hololive doing it, they do get supported and funded by the Livers. Two of us are funny. We're paying tens of thousands of yen. So why should we have to get hurt? Why should we have to spend money on to uh, on only to get hurt? If I honestly feel down and get hurt today, I will provide any support from tomorrow onwards. That makes sense. That's fine. We, the organizers, are adjusting rules, but we keep getting comments and posts on X saying that the balance is forever off and it's our fault. In reality, after the server closes each day, we conduct interviews with the participants to check on their situation. Based on that feedback, we make daily adjustments, which is very nice. Let's just have fun doing it and watching it. If you're going to complain, it's better not to watch. It's not good for your mental health. Why waste your limited time watching something that makes you irritated? If Hochikawa gets tired, she can stop supporting and do what she likes. Lauren and Ebio can do what they want as well. If supporting becomes too tough, it's okay to reduce the number of days. It's the seventh day and I think they should just do what they want enjoy. Now, they did a great job for seven days. Whether they decide to quit the the uh the actual event or not i say thank you for all the support they've given so far i think it's especially tough for people who care about those around them because they get so many different opinions of course it can hurt it can hurt you when you get negative opinions about something you worked hard for of course when opinions are divided i remind myself that i'm the kamisama of this world so i decide the way i want but you know that takes the courage to be disliked as an organizer i've already embraced that resolve and courage without it uh, being an organizer would be really hard of course when you're a public person, when you're putting yourself in public, you have to get ready to be slammed a lot of times. I want this event to be something everyone can enjoy peacefully and have fun with, but at this rate, probably won't be a next time. If it were just me, I definitely wouldn't have taken the role of organizer. She wanted to do it, and I had the knowledge and experience. I knew it'd be tough for her alone, so I decided to help. I knew she could get hurt by minor mistakes or failures in the resulting trolling. I'll definitely stop the next event. She's going to get hurt. I will undoubtedly choose to stop it. Haven't really spoken up about this before, but I do understand, you know, uh, it's just that bad comments stand out, but there are really a lot of good ones too. Of course, take a look at the good and the bad. Everyone's patiently enduring these bad few comments. Out of 100 comments, if 5 are bad, it's easy to focus on those, but there are 95 good ones. I try to consciously focus on the positive, which is good. You, of course, should. At the end of the day, the biggest enemy of Niji Saiji Livers are the Niji fandom. Yes, because, I mean, most uh, Hollow Live enjoyers and most enjoyers of other fandoms are not watching Niji right now. So it's the Niji fandom that is that is criticizing Niji themselves. Crazy but true, I feel like JP has always had a harassment problem. Yeah, people that are like, oh my god, why are you talking to guys? Or, oh my god, why is this person here? Why are you having so much fun with this guy? Blah, blah, blah. Unicorns, Fujoshis, all those people are the ones that cause problems. Even in Japan, the livers pay for everything themselves. And if I understand correctly, both of them were organizers with no help from management. That happens, like I said, even in Hollow Life. Let's just be fair here. So aside from exposure, what's the point of joining Niji? You're giving your all to improve everything and paying with your money and time to get zero support. Now, it's different if it is a like Niji Sandy sponsored one or a Hollow Life sponsored event. Like their, their summer concert, that is fully supported and paid for by Hollow Life. If it is a cover done by Hollow Life, same thing. If it is an original song, same thing. But a lot of things, like even Marine has said it, others have said it in Hollow Life. If it is a personal project, which the things like the, the sports festival, the Indonesia other festival, you know, the one that, that's kind of the same thing in Minecraft, those are all done by the talents, provided money by the talents, and all and you know, organized by the talents. If it's something like that, then yes, they pay for it themselves. It's like that across the board. I am taking this as a rumor because no one can prove what's going on here. Uh, the big thing that they're mentioning here is all of a sudden it went from up to down. That could be that ECG issue that happens over here on uh, on the websites that have all of this stuff for you. So it could be something like that. The consistent here is good and the drop off at the end is normal. So I don't think it's being botted per se, but the, the, what they're saying is that the big jump to suddenly drop, like the, the meteoric drop, it does kind of make people think what the heck is going on. Now, 
this could have very well been explained under one reason. I'm trying to be objective here. Remember, I'm, I don't, I'm not a Niji lover by any means, but I'm trying to be objective here. That could have been right after a raid, like right after a raid. A raid goes in, you get like 40,000 extra people in the raid. Then the people drop off because they're not interested in looking at you. That happens. It happened to me. It's happened to other people. They'll just drop off. It'll be a sharp drop in some cases. They'll just be like, they'll go through the raid and they'll be like, oh, I don't want to watch this person X within like a minute or two. So that can happen. That can be a thing. But if it is botted, it makes sense. Be, it can make sense just looking at it because this whole little ECG thing is up and down, up and down. It can be bots. It can be people just coming in. It can be explained by a lot of things. I don't want to just, you know, shoot the shoot them and be like, yeah, it's all it's all bots blah, 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 because I'm an anti or something, you know, but well-known trade of wanting to spend the absolute minimum, if at all, is the cause. They probably not. They won't be able to fool keen eyes just to fool the average folks. Wait till they debuted already. I uh, thought it would be a month ago. It's not a month. They debuted exactly the same time as Hollow Justice. Isn't at all suspicious. Honestly, we don't know if they need to themselves or a crazy fan NDF. Like it could be a fan trying to pump up the numbers if it was done that way. There's a period after Selene's termination when Niji Sandy subreddit became a huge dumpster of people complaining about the company. Three to four days in active accounts that had no history of posting. Randomly showed up on mass and started posting tons of videos of the Japanese members. Many people were suspicious that someone, whether it was a company or outside interference, tried to bot the subreddit and mask the overwhelming negativity. That can happen. And if it does happen, well, whatever, you know, it is what it is. Which conveniently coincided with the management account starting to become more proactive and removing the threads and bashing the company. Nothing can definitely be confirmed, but of course, you know, people are going to have their rumors. A bit of a dive into uh, the things that Niji Sanji does. Any color takes over talents, organized events, and pockets the profits. Koshien is one of their humongous events. Koshien baseball event, they do get usually 100k plus CCV on that. Uh, it started solely organized by Maimoto Keisuke. 2020 Koshien draft, right there. It was all on Maimoto's channel. As we can see here, it was on his channel. Maimoto Keisuke had a lot of views, of course. Streamed three years ago on 2020. Uh, it, but in 2021, the event did move to the to the Niji Sanji I jp one right here their main one uh the next year and at the time the reasoning was moving it to the official channel would allow it to get full support of management and staff making the event better and lessening my moto's workload without any pre preconceived notion that it was a believable narrative another talent Rino mikuto decided to host the niji sanji unit music festival known as niji a project featuring various niji livers performing 3d as various units after two d after two years the event in 2021 and 22 it was moved also to the main channel and it was a point basically a pattern emerges they they once they see that it's successful they move it to the main channel and then they pocket all the profits after that 2022 minato fua uh hosted a successful platoon three, three tournament reaching 130 k ccv and in 2023 the tournament was moved to the official nidhi sanji channel uh, it makes three big events where the talents had high viewership and tons of super chats taken over by management where most of the viewership and super chat goes to the official channel remember when maimoto said that moving koshi into the main channel means better support it's not like he didn't have to do any work afterwards he was still heavily involved in organizing it and of course they're they're pocketing the super chats none of the livers get the super chats when it's on the main channel hollow live there are two major talent organized events hollow live sports fest and hollow mario kart tournament sports fest is organized by miko mio and subaru and the main POV is hosted on Miko's channel. So they allow the talents to host it on their main channel because it's, it's organized by the talents. And it's been doing that for years. Mario Kart Tournament is organized and hosted by Toa. If you watch the closing speeches, they always thank management for their help. So it's not like management is unable to help the event if it's not hosted on the official channel. I try to make this post without any assumptions or feelings. Just ask yourself, you know, why does the event have to be on the official channel? The thing is, like for example, yesterday on the debuts, each one had their debut on their channel. And yes, the official EN channel on Hololife had a watch along for the debut, which with the Achan and stuff like that. But still, management is helping them on their official channels because that's the way a good management is. Even if it's supported, even if it's like organized and paid for by the talents, you still have uh, management helping them in everything they can do. 2022 NGU was shorter than announced and some fans bought the tickets and didn't like it of course uploading the screenshots of day two and three was prohibited and they sold screenshots as merch oh god that's horrible i really need to stop being surprised with this company that has to be the lowest worst effort type of merch to be sold ever just screenshots yeah that's bad but yeah like i'm saying like people are saying here smaller events nice story hollow stars and rust server event was originally just tenma wanting to uh tema wanting to force everyone to play rust uh, and extended invitation to ian as well 
first event was successful enough that management actually praised him and helped him host a second season, even printing out a trophy for the PvP winner. Exactly. So they help. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to help when everything is, even if it's, even if it is organized by a liver. There has been a correction, my guess is, um, about situation with the EN, the EN going into the GTA server. It wasn't necessarily that they were disinvited. It's just that many felt that they were um, not going to be able to do it properly inside of the GTA server. Maybe it was a little bit of a, of a nudge, nudge, wink, wink from the freaking... Um, from people who were in uh, management because management isn't known to be the best. So I'm still, it's a rat in my head. It's a rumor in my head. It's a speculation in my head that it is still led by the uh, the management. But like I said, it's still a rat in my head, still a, a rumor in my head, something that I believe myself, uh, but may not actually have full on evidence because we don't know what's going on behind there. But here we go with this. Uh, tweets of two livers said they were joining JP server because they don't speak Japanese. Maria Marionette, if she speaks Japanese, and then she's more than welcome. I think they said non-Japanese speakers probably is what it ended up happening. Post exact words, many of the waters. Personally, I saw it a little differently as management kicked in out of GTA server. Wilson and Vanta decided to pull out the language barrier. Uh, social media messages were just vocal minority, hating on the EN and being part of the event. Basically the same baseless ramblings as your average auntie. Um, my own theory is that it all could have easily been prevented with better communications. Absolutely. That is a management failure either way. Either way, it's a management failure because they could have communicated things way better to everybody being like the rules are you have to be able to speak conversational Japanese you have to be able to speak this and that if the rules are that then of course it's not going to be a big issue but they don't have rules set out there it's just like here we go here's a GTA server have fun and that's it <clears throat> only after they created the rooms they make the rules it seems like the talents might have also jumped the gun they might have just been very excited to be a part of it you know it might have just been one of those things and that is that is another situation that might have happened i guess the trademark tri tribalism niji's unfamous for it's you know that's one of the weaknesses that niji has they like talents with humor and ian market crowd watching hollow rust absolutely ate that s up with gura suisei roboco and etc formed a pack during the end game roboco tried very hard to help translate and suisei did as well so you know suisei tried english if they had more people like that there wouldn't have been this misunderstanding honestly here is someone asking a question about whether um if in a perfect world they didn't they weren't the way that they were would their rapid fire approach Nidhi sanji still work i think not because look at the way that hollow life did it let's just look at the way we can't even we don't even have to imagine it there's a company who isn't dog s when it comes to management who isn't treating their en talents badly who isn't just leaving them to fend for themselves and be in the red when they do their debuts who isn't doing all of that there's already one that is like that and that is hollow life you look at hollow life you look at their english talents they aren't pushing 50 60 70 people all at once they aren't doing that they're giving each one they're about a year before like eight months to a year before they go on to the next one that's the way it should be so in the ian market the rapid fire approach would not work because i mean hollow life i'm pretty sure if it would have worked for hollow life they would have done it immediately if the hollow life would have seen that it would have worked for them they would have immediately done that so the fact that they're not doing it means that yeah no it's not going to work so i mean it could be sustained considerable considering uh how many preferred needs is to hollow even so the rapid fire would still backfire as many people would be overwhelmed of course, not possible simply due to the fact that Niji Sanji does not have enough staff. The staff were not there to support. They're not there to support in general. If we assume that Yago was a CEO of Black Color, then he wouldn't have chosen Scatterbrain Approach or Scattergun Approach. Exactly. The, the fact that Hololive didn't choose that means it's not sustainable in the long run. Even in JP, they choose to go slower, especially slower than Niji Sanji. So that shows you that the, the, the shotgun approach of just tossing everything in there and tossing a ton in there is not going to work. It just won't. Today, in the afternoon, by the time you read this, and by the time you record, I'm re recording this, you are probably going to know who Rara Pantera is. That it is assumed, and it is rumored right now, that it is um, going to be Yuniho, which was one of the character mama, I believe, of one of Sayu's either old personas or new personas or whichever character that they were. It's looking forward to her debut later tonight. Elizabeth was absolutely amazing. It absolutely was. It was killer. Oh my god, it was killer. Definitely opens up the potential of Sayu quite a few indies with collabs with Hollow, if it's true. By the way, if you want spoiler property, then you want a spoiler. So yeah, they're trying to spoiler that it could be Uniho. If it is Uniho, then that would be cool. If it's not, then of course, do not be disappointed. The person who is there worked very hard to become a part of uh, Hollow Life, and they're going to be doing an amazing job at this because, of course, Hollow Life chooses really good talents. 
Hollow Life makes sure that the talents are extremely well trained and extremely well supported in everything that they do. So you know it's going to be a good one. Breaking news on the independent VTuber side, Usan Yugo Unnamed, whoever you want to call him, is going to have the 3D showcase delayed until June 23rd. I think it was going to be today. I decided to postpone my reveal until tomorrow night at 9 p.m. No, you made time for me, but I really want to show the best quality possible. Again, I am truly sorry, and we meet tomorrow. So it's better to do that instead of having some kind of, of technical difficulty, some kind of issue going on. It's way better to have it done and properly shown to the people that you want it to show. You want to show your best face, put your face best face forward. Same thing with Doki Bird, all having best face forward. They want that to do well because, I mean, they're, it's going to do well as a, as a stream in and of itself, but they want to have uh, the ability to, you know, be able to show their positive best side for everybody. Of course, but of course. And of course, um, NA time, June 22nd, 5 a.m. PST, uh, 1 p.m. UK time. So it, it already happened, I guess, today. It already happened, technically, I think. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.